Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. We are the Mile High Property Brothers today. Weather's amazing. Yes. We're back outside. That warm weather is coming. It is right around the corner. So we will be outside the entire time talking to you about a full vlog tour on South Denver. All right, let's check it out, guys. What's up guys, I'm Eli Schmidt. This is my partner, Will Grimes. And if it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell. That way, all week long when we're dropping all the content that we do about living in Denver, you get notified and don't miss a single one. 100%, and we are licensed brokers in the state of Colorado, which means as much as we love making these videos, we would love more to help you with those real estate needs. So that number yep. that's popping back up below or below, where other guys send the phone calls, text messages, and those emails. So if there's something we can do for you, we would love to. But with that being said, like we talked about a second ago, it's warm, amazing weather. Shout out to all of our New Yorkers. We just did a video on East Coast slash New York to Denver. We've yeah. had a lot of clients from there. I'm like painting it forward today. He is. I've got a retro, it's it, almost baseball it. season. I have got a retro Yankees jersey yeah. on today, supporting these guys. Rockies, like, hey, when you start investing in your team, I'm gonna start cheering for you. Still probably not. Either way, <laughs> it's warm, it's almost baseball season. South Denver is probably one of the best places you can go. Outside of like opening day, if you go to opening day in your downtown or St. Patty's Day, a lot of fun. But South Denver, yeah. just as a whole, day in and day out, whether it's a weekend, a weekday evening or a weekend, just what you can do, the restaurants you can have fun yeah. with, the parks you can go to, hard to beat. Now, specifically where we are now, we are literally standing in Wash Park right now, which is probably the hottest and one of the biggest parks in Denver. We were just over at the Gaylord Restaurant Strip, which is just a few blocks over from Wash Park. And that right. is, like we talked about in a lot of our videos, just one of the traditional little Denver neighborhood strips where they have boutique shops, restaurants, a lot of really, really, really good, just handcrafted mm -hmm. food. Check that out. And like these vlog tour guys, we don't like to spend a whole lot of time talking like we right. normally do, believe it or not. Yeah, so speak for yourself, bro. <laughs> yeah, speak. <laughs> so what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna take a little stroll around the park here, yeah. just give you a vibe for kind of what Wash Park is gonna be like for a daily visit, and then we're gonna go over to South Broadway. Correct, and something we can throw up on the screen while you guys are watching some of that is just like some average price points, some lot sizes, mm -hmm. some drone footage as far as like the entire park, because even on a weekend when it's extremely busy, there is still plenty of space. And when it gets oh, yeah. busy, it gets busy. You have volleyball courts all the way across like the north side of the park, but there's still plenty. And I think it's like a five or a seven K completely around the park. Mm -hmm. If you were to ride that or jog it, they've got like different canine. Like you can bring your dog and do a 5K. They've got a ton of different stuff oh, that yeah, happens. Furry scurry. And, yeah, the furry scurry. There's tons of cool stuff that happens spring and summertime here. Yeah. Not So it's not just like a park that you can come to and have fun. There are a ton of large events that come here that you guys can participate in or just enjoy the atmospherics of if you're here on the weekend. But a lot of fun, one of our favorite and definitely a fan favorite in Colorado, but again, it's so big, you can always find space to relax or go for a walk here. That's right, so we're gonna take a little stroll, yep. see if we don't get attacked by any geese or any angry bikers or anything like that. If you guys remember <laughs> any of our city park videos from like last summer, like the geese and all of their conversations yeah, with yeah, us yeah. and like, it was never enough how much we were feeding them. It was never enough. That's right. You know, that's like right. that's why you don't feed them because once you do, that is it. They are a bottomless pit of <laughs> bread. They are. So let's go check out the park a little bit and then we're gonna hop in the truck. We're gonna head over to South Broadway, explore some of the restaurants and shops down there, yep. and we'll catch up with you there. Right on. All right, so we just turned on Broadway from down south from Wash Park. We're headed up north on Broadway towards downtown, towards that just south Denver Broadway area. We're gonna hit a lot of cool bars, a lot of cool restaurants and shops and things like that and show you guys everything that South Broadway has to offer. But if I had to say, 
You know, South Broadway reminds me of kind of Lodo for people in their young 30s, young to mid 30s. We love 30. <laughs> we yes. do. Cheers to parents and adults. We do. Whenever you're going down there on a Friday or Saturday night, the crowd's a little bit older. It definitely gets a lot quieter around midnight versus 2 a.m. like Lodo. So if you guys are looking for just a cool place to go and meet some new people when you're in town, meet some new friends, go out with a group of friends. If you live here, South Broadway is definitely the place to go. You've also got a ton of like townhomes and condos that are getting built over here and if you are south of i-25 actually a great road because you've got three to four lanes going north and south once you get north of i-25 it is a one way as you get closer to like downtown area you get closer to a little bit more of those restaurants it narrows up but there is parking on the roadway so i think it's to allow for that but south of i-25 you got a sprouts that just went up around here you've got the, the townhomes that just went up around here and again like six to eight lanes of commute so pretty good little byway we talk about that all the time with traffic in colorado and how you don't always have to hop on highways to get where you're going. So something to think about if you guys are in this area looking for somewhere to live. We're gonna jump outside of some cool spots and catch up with you in just a few. guys south broadway let's talk a little bit more about it you guys saw the commute in let me reiterate traffic is not bad at all right especially when you guys are yeah. south by 25 you have almost eight lanes for one way for the other really cool and then as you transition into just north of the highway it does go one way you've got broadway and you've got lincoln correct lincoln? that's what's nice because lincoln yeah. is one way north broadway is one way south keeps it a great flow so if you depending on where you want to park yeah you're gonna u-turn get back on the broadway so you guys are facing south depending on where you want to go either way you guys are looking right now at some of like the flower shops the bar and grills you've got some irish pubs that are out here you've got super good sushi joints and they all are like literally mom and pop shops there are no yeah. franchises yeah. at all as long as i've been here i can't remember any franchises being down here they're all mom and pop just custom pizza shops yeah. custom breweries custom sushi shops what did you say sushi shops <laughs> say that 10 times fast denver really is one of those places guys where we're really big on supporting local businesses and with as much as an entrepreneur type of culture that is here everyone else tends to embrace that and not that we don't have chains and stuff like there's plenty of chains out here however the locals when it comes to restaurants and bars you get a good local place and the local people here are really going to they're going to go there and they're going to support it it's a big deal around here correct a little bit further more on like the some of the commutes you've got what we would call like a lot and block out here in like your more mm -hmm. central denver which means it's very rectangular right like streets go north and west yeah it's super easy yeah exactly right yeah. east and west north and south i was going to sing that up but either way super easy commute if you guys are living in these areas really walkable uh, and it's not hard to, to find your way depending on where you want to go now one of the most popular neighborhoods that you'll see out here pretty much right where we're at as soon as you get off Broadway you're gonna be in a neighborhood called Baker yes. we've done a video on Baker before Baker guys is very very trendy it's very hipster you don't have a whole lot of scrapes and rebuilds like you do up in Highlands or Sunnyside so you yeah. will find a lot of just the old Victorian style homes and a lot of artists live out here too so you'll even see the homes like painted normally a purple house isn't that cool but a lot of times with Baker you can see a pretty cool purple house correct and just on the business side of that when you guys are looking for like what you're approved for where you want to live and what you want to spend because you don't have so many scrapes and it's not as maybe well known as some of these other neighborhoods but it's still central and it's still great price point is also super great it is it is and these baker like victorian style homes we just mentioned you might find those anywhere from 650 to probably about 800 yep. but it's definitely not the one and a half million dollar duplex like you might find in no. highlands and because we've got that older school lot and block feel out here you've mm -hmm. got big front yards you've got good sized backyards you'll have alleyways typically sometimes mm -hmm. some detached two-car garages and if that's not enough space for you if you'd like to still get out a little bit more and spread yourself out we've got a ton of parks mm -hmm. in these neighborhoods with super tall oh man just established trees you get mm -hmm. plenty of shade in those parks people tend to work yeah. uh, on nice days like this like if you guys have saw some of the content we've done on watch park today people are just going out and throwing frisbee or working on their laptops super relaxing but you have some of that in baker as well yeah so guys whether you live in highlands or wash park or cheeseman park or congress park or any of the surrounding big notable neighborhood parks that denver has you're a quick uber ride away from south broadway for an awesome friday or saturday night guys there's really unlimited amount of things that you can do down here and then once you get tired of south broadway you head straight north up lincoln five eight minutes and you're right in downtown denver correct and i keep talking about commute let's talk about commute a little bit further if you are like us and you've got kiddos or for whatever reason you live in suburbias and you want to be in the southeast auroras yep. or the highlands ranch or the castle rocks literally the commute from my house from castle rock where i was coming from is 
right around 30 minutes, 33 minutes. Mm -hmm. well, it's not bad at all, especially if you guys are coming in for like an evening or during the weekday and there's not a ball game going on. Or if there is a ball game going on, even more reason why Broadway is not gonna be as packed because everyone's down at Coors Field or the Ball Arena where the Nuggets play. That's right. Now, we are going to, I saw this pizza shop called Pie Hole. Looked amazing. Such a pie hole. Looked amazing. Said they had the best pizza in Denver. Everyone says that. They had said they had the best pizza in Denver. You did it! Congratulations! So we're gonna go check that out, guys. Stuff our pie hole a little yes. bit. Maybe get a good cup of coffee at one of these places down here we and will get out of here. We might rate the pizza for you. We're not gonna sit here and eat it in front of you and waste your guys' time watching us stuff our pie holes. However, we'll grade it. We'll talk about a couple more things. We'll throw some B-roll at the end of it and allow you guys to see a little bit more of your Central South Denver neighborhoods. All right, let's go. All right, guys, we are gonna hit you with an outro right here. That's right. Kind of a golden nugget. We wanted to save this for the end, but if you are down here on South Broadway and you have not hit up a punch bowl before, super cool weather. Right. It's you guys coming here with uh, on, on a date, driving an obnoxious Toyota. That's right. Whatever. All jokes aside, they've got a ton of games in here, like old yeah. school arcade games. They've got darts. They've got skee ball. But what most people don't know is like this is a five star eagle rated restaurant. Yeah, really most, good. Really good. Most people don't know about this. You've also got one over at the old airport by Central Park. Yep. You've got a punch bowl over there, but the original is over here on South Broadway. A lot of fun. Check it out. And yes, if you are doing like work meetings, you guys can rent this place out for like corporate events in addition to dates or bringing your family here. And yes, they do New Year's here. They do Halloween here a lot of really cool stuff but you got to check it out and you definitely got to make sure the games don't override how good the food is That's try right. the food punch bowl's great pie hole not bad not bad even better if i punch you in your pie hole what, but i won't what do we say what are we rating it six like a five eight the pizza a was five, like a five eight. eight hey there's a lot of good pizza out there we got to keep it we got to keep it real i'll give it like a, a five eight. i'll give it a six three i'll give it a six three we got some room we got some room to get a nice guy. either way we're not pizza experts but we that's are right. real estate experts and yes that's we right. are licensed brokers here in the state of colorado and yes just as much fun as we have making these videos we would love more to help you with your real estate needs that's number right. that's popping back up below we are the guys running the phone calls text messages and those emails so if there's something we can do for you we would love to but until next video you guys enjoy your week We'll see you very soon. See you guys.